evening. Thank you for being here. Okay. Ah, making friends with the under allies. Okay, again, this whole region of the universe has been given bad PR. Uh, we like this upper part. We do all of our tendency to do all of our spiritual work in the upper and the finer up there. We want to go lower and finer. That's the other half. Okay. Uh, in the big picture, you're not going to get far just doing the upper half in terms of, uh, let's say, a final goal uh, to get back to the heavenlies. Uh, you can't do it on half. You need this fullness. And that becomes a doorway. Okay? So it's imperative, uh, if you're really interested, that we, we get the balance of, of this. Uh, so, unfortunately, the under presents a lot like uh, too dark, uh, scary, uh, the abyss. Oh! Uh, who took my newspaper, Kaja? Yeah, there was a newspaper here. I need it. There was a newspaper there. I need it. It, it, it might have fallen into the abyss, Sensei. Yes. <laughs> who moved it? Kaja's looking. Do we know where the newspaper went? Oh, too bad. I was going to read a quickie. The abyss brought it up. It's disappeared, has it? Too bad. Uh, sorry about that. It's not here. Uh, thank you. Okay, anyway. Uh, so, can look bad. Uh, when you first start to settle with it, can make you twitchy or nervous or overheated or dizzy or on and on and on and on. That's the beginnings of it starting to show. I'm sorry it pushes. I'm sorry it vibrates through your system, okay? And you think you're coming down with the flu or whatever. I'm sorry. Now, in making friends, uh, to realize as we settle deeper, into quote a finer level so it's not just deeper 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 it's deeper finer a little bit here uh, uh, so deeper is finer so deeper again is finer okay so that sense deeper is finer okay um i read one uh zoomer's comments uh about his travels down there and i uh, said, good, people are playing. Uh, I hope more people are playing. That's the only way we're going to get used to this is to jump in and play so they can show you it's, it's friendly, show you the plus of it. It's damn beautiful, this. You want to talk about Osensei? He did a, uh, his main work from here. Okay. And then this just naturally kicked in, so he had harmony. Uh, but his main work was here. All right. That's why we do Swati Waza, to start this little under relationship. That was the kindergarten basic first little step. You were walking around on your knees. Oh. Yeah, walk around on your knees. Uh, and uh, uh, that was just a hint of the beginning. He was just pointing out there's something important there. Everyone stopped at Swariwaza and they get pretty good at walking around on their knees and they don't go any deeper or deeper or deeper and to finer and finer and finer. What a shame. So where the hell are we? Uh, Leitner has a little story of his traveling, trying to make friends with the under realm. Leitner, you want to jump in on your... Okay. So I'm not getting out a whole lot these days. Uh pretty well uh, quarantined here at home and went to uh, a dentist appointment uh, just a little while back. 
and realized as I was lying there in the chair that I was tense, uh, could feel it in my body. My thoughts were getting closed in, just, you know, things were really wrong. Uh, settled, relaxed, welcomed whatever was going on, just, okay, what's going on here? Where's this coming from? And I basically remembered something from when I was a little kid riding my bike to school, down through an alley, and a dog chasing me, barking at me, and I'm trying to get my leg out of the way, and the dog actually bit me. But that was the energy that I was getting. Ugh, this is bad stuff. Hung out. What's going on? And the evolution was to a guard dog, an alarm dog, somebody who is helping to keep me safe, an energy helping to keep me safe. This is a place where I need to be awake. I need to be aware. I need to be taking some cautions. And, okay, I've done that. I've got this warm, fuzzy feeling starting to happen now with this energy. This is something that's helping me. This is keeping me safe. This is keeping me alert in a place where I need to be uh, alert. Um, different experience. Thank you. And for, uh, I mentioned a while back, uh, for those people that are doing so much downtime because of Corona, we see it on the street uh, sometimes where people sort of aren't there. They're doing dumb things. They're slow to respond. They drive through stop signs. Okay. Uh, I reminded people to go a little bit deeper following a box and go a little bit deeper. And there's a level there of more attentive, attentiveness, more presence, more alive. So you can drive a little more properly. Okay. I have to, uh, myself, I, I have to do that uh, when I go out uh, to make sure I settle a bit and tap more, be a, a semi-alert driver. And I find within a minute that really helps anyway. So, uh, one reason the under can look uh, bad, dark, is because we stand up here and we kind of look down at it. And because of that looking at it, uh, sort of from a distance, uh, we don't get to see truly what it is. When you begin to settle in it, hang out in it, uh, get past the first minor nanananans. Yeah, in, in old basic meditation, uh, you'd get comfortable and sitting on your pillows. Let's say we're doing the old style, sitting on pillows. And uh, you'd get adjust to your comfortable. And from that moment on, you don't move. No twitching, no scratching of the nose, no adjusting. Once you establish, that's it. And what you're doing there is uh, uh, passing on. The, those first upflows that will make you twitch around or want to scratch or, or something. Okay. okay. So that was the hard school. Don't move. <laughs> no twitching. All right. Uh, but that's what it was there for because people, as they settle down, being affected by those first flows that are starting to activate uh, would endlessly twitch around and feel around but whatever uh, so i told you my experience uh sitting one day and uh starting to settle a bit there and suddenly having this very strong sense i could feel them felt like ants crawling on me now i i sort of knew this was in my early days i sort of knew no there are no ants here this is just something that's happening to them sitting uh but I looked just to make sure there were no ants. And of course, there were no ants. I thought that was quite humorous. But that's that first movement of energy. And uh, to recognize those first uh, uh, simple shows, simple presentations of that, know what they are, settle a bit more, open a bit more, Okay, don't waste your time twitching or wondering if there's ants crawling or don't waste your time. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to go into deeper, finer. In fact, uh, let me, uh, Katya, you're free? Let me do a, a simple. Uh, this is uh, also a very good practice for kids, uh, kids class or 
if you're and doesn't it be flashy your own kids uh changing cameras yeah i can't see me am i there <laughs> i'm not there where am i <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Did I get the link out here? <laughs> okay, I'm back here. Uh, should be there. You go. There we are. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Okay. Pooling out. Can you see Katja? All right. Just pooling out. Legs spread apart a little bit. Here we go. Pooling out. So I would tell uh, people and kids too. You're like a cube of butter on a very hot day and you're beginning to melt down. Settle, sorry, that one. Settle, settle, settle. And then, uh, now you don't, their attention is on settling, melting, going deeper. So you don't bring their attention back by jerking on them. Okay, settling down and I, Take up some of that first pressure on her arm. Okay, keep settling, cooling. And then I feel how much power I'm using and I start to move her. And I moved her a couple of inches. I say, okay, good. Continue settling, cooling out. And again, feeling the same amount of energy there she's not moving now i'm starting to strain i say to her oh very good okay keep pooling and settling because i'm going to use more power next time but you just keep settling melting pooling again take up the slack in the arm give her a moment to make sure she's back in the melting pooling at which time using more power ah! And she's not moving. Very, very good. Again, it would take more than a catch is good at, at this, apparently. Thank you. Okay. And and then by the way, longer hair standing here. Uh, they can see you all right. Uh, then I would have the uh, people say, okay, you've pulled out, even though you're standing, that sense of pooling. <sighs> So you're lying down, pooling, you're standing, but you're still pooling. What's your sense of that? More present, bigger, a little bit more, yeah. lighter. And I can see all of that. She really feels here. So more present, a little fuller. Yeah. Ah, better line make good. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, have them be able to... Uh, after doing a, a lying down practice, be able to do it standing. Uh, the uh, lot, thank you. The lying down practice uh, is a, a simple form of beginning, excuse me, beginning to uh, get comfortable with under. Again, so this is your early first part, but beginning to settle with it, beginning to open to it. A sense of going deeper a little bit, okay? Uh, one warning, do not fall asleep. Unless your intention in lying down and relaxing was to fall asleep. But if you're doing a process, no sleeping, okay? I have to do this process deeper and calmer and stuff. Awake, yeah? Mm. Okay, so, so I, I'm hoping that the last couple of sessions in uh, recognizing uh, some examples of how the under forces could appear like monsters, okay? My word, if they're little squigglies, that's a monster. If they're snakes, that's a monster. So it's a loose word. That you'll have your own things you'll bump into because your form of doing this, your, it's all personal. 
Okay. The pattern is the same for everybody, but what you'll bump into and the qualities that they'll eventually show, they're very beautiful qualities. These things that look like monsters settling finer level, finer sense of energy. They'll begin to show their truer nature. Okay. Uh, the some people uh, have used the word uh, transform bad energies to good energies transform them like wow wow well, that's kind of dumb you look through the seemingly bad energies to the finer that's there and you look through that to the finer finer that's there you don't tr transform you're just seeing the reality reality maybe with a capital r the reality of what's there, okay? Uh, there was a friend of those sensei's, uh, uh, Taniguchi sensei. Uh, he was head of Seicho no Ye, Seicho no Ye, a very big organization in, in its day. Uh, he wasn't a martial artist, he was into a proper way of, of thinking. Uh, I'm not sure what to call him, I'll have to look it up to see. Uh, but a kind of a power of positive thinking kind of thing plus. And those sensei, uh, and I had been aware of them because the person that set me up to go to Japan set up my sponsor and nice house to live in uh, with my sponsor uh, was a member of this group. So she gave me a couple booklets. So I've been trying to get a flavor for Japanese things, uh, reading them. And then one morning I'm in the dojo and those sensei comes out and I hear him say Taniguchi in my, I know, really no Japanese at the time, but I hear Taniguchi sensei. So I said to this guy next to me, what did he just say? And he said, I walk the same path as Taniguchi sensei. They were kindred souls. They were buddies. I think both of them had been at Omoto Kill at the same time. Uh, so why I brought him up was one of, one of his things was, Let's say your uh, husband is a drunk and he would say, don't look at him like a drunk and see all the dumb stuff there. See the pure soul, see the true self that's there. Just keep looking through till you see the truer self. Just keep seeing that. And then that had an effect and they'd get a lot of feedback where the drunk was suddenly on his own wanting to get sober and being a proper guy. So by seeing the truer of self instead of the stupid, drunk, whatever, uh, that was one of their forms. It makes more sense now. Okay, uh, Don't look at that heavy bad. You make it too, you make it stronger. Okay, You make it the only reality. Look through, see the realer reality, and it starts to show is its potential. Anyway. Okay. Uh, Settling down. Okay. One trick, uh, if you don't feel like overtly dealing with the monsters, one trick is the calmness factor. Now, understand calmness as Osensei uses it. He didn't mean I'm nervous. Now I, I have to get calm. Okay. When the bullets were flying around and he said, holy shit, what am I going to do with this? He had never bumped into bullets being aimed at him. He hit out for a moment behind a rock or something. And he said he went calm. Now, normal people would say, oh, he had a nervous mind and he calmed his mind. And that's not what happened. He used calm as a, we call it travel vehicle sometimes, as a way of passing through this into a finer. And then from a, a level of finer, boom, suddenly there's the guy that can feel the bullets coming and can dodge them, so to speak. Okay, so calmness, different than nervous calm, calmness. Okay, uh, so if you run into stuff that's agitating you, use the calmness trick, calm, calm. And then at a certain level, you'll feel it with a little practice. At a certain level, you'll sort of open your eyes, so to speak, at that level. And you're at a better level. And the things that are agitating you up there or earlier stages 
don't agitate. They're not there to agitate you. You're in a finer level. So calmness is a good trick. Okay. Um, but I also enjoy uh, dealing with the quote monsters. I use them as road signs. I reach a certain level. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, I'll go over my story. I'm sitting and I bump into a snake pit. Oh, I got no great love for snakes. And they're biting at me. And I can feel them. Manga, manga, manga. What the hell? But I'm in a sitting space, so I say, I'll hang out here. So I gutsied my way through. I hung out. I let them bite me. I didn't scream and yell. I let them bite me, kind of settling. A little bit deeper, meaning into finer level. And suddenly the snakes aren't biting me anymore. They're, they're moving up, but they're smiling. I thought, aha, something's up here. Uh, now, nowadays, I might have paused there for a moment and uh, looked at the, uh, 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 the snakes spiraling, smiling as personal energies. I'd let them mix. Who am I now? And just real quick, following that, that they were smiling, I can feel myself. Now, I'm not figuring this out. What should I think I am because they were smiling. I feel it. I partake of it. The, ener the energies of the snake smiling. I figure I'm mixing up my system. Who am I now? I'm not Bobby anymore. Who am I now? And there's a, a nice feeling. I don't know. I want to say I'm, I'm a nicer guy. I don't want to say nice guy. I don't know if I'm there yet, but I'm a nicer guy. I, I can feel it. Ah, the smiling is coming easier than normal. I can feel it. Uh, so at, at that time, when I first bumped into snakes, I didn't know how to uh, mix up a character at each level. Uh, so now doing a longer form, I would do that. And then continuing the story, I continued to settle with the smiling snakes. A little bit finer, uh, since lower, finer. They weren't snakes anymore. They were just spiraling energies. Had a nice flavor about them. And again, now I would take that pause in there and say, okay, these are in my system. Not just an idea, but a sense of in my system, up and down, mixing up a new character. Who am I now? And here, I immediately have a feeling of energy stuff. So at that level, I would want to move with some energy. I'd want to talk about energy. I'd want to teach energy stuff. Okay, at that level, it would be natural. Okay, uh, and then down uh, lower, finer, continuing that pattern. Beautiful lady, and when she moves, those energy things spiral. Boom, boom. She was beautiful. Again, this is in my earlier days, so I just uh, I could feel her beauty and stuff, her niceness. But I, I wasn't clear on uh, blend with her, feel her feelings as part of the mix of you character, which is what I would do now. I wasn't that uh, versed in this process in those years. Okay, so basics. Uh, they bite a little bit lower. They smile a little bit lower. Oh, it's just finer energy, a little bit lower. Oh, they have this source. And the source I blend with and transform myself, mix myself up. Or, uh, I get rebred in there. Okay, so that's kind of our basic. Uh, where are we? Uh, so as you get okay, so hopefully the last two weeks, uh, you've gotten okay with the sense of monsters. Hopefully, You've delved under and had some experiences with your own. Like last week, I read a, a Zoomer comment about somebody doing that. And then tonight we had uh, 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 Leitner talking about taking that time in the dentist's office to uh, hang out and play. And I sort of would like, hope that you do that sometimes. 
okay we we need to practice a bit right uh, one thing different about this realm and this realm uh is why is that thing up there uh that sign in thing thank you uh this realm uh, mentally is very fast okay in this realm i can in a moment be in Kauai. Oh, I can begin to feel that warm breeze. Oh, I can smell the flowers. Oh, yeah, the roar of the ocean at the beach. How nice that is. I can do that in a split second. Now, to actualize it, I have to get some money to buy a ticket. I have to pack a bag. I have to stand in line in the airport. I'm forced to eat pretzels on the plane or whatever they're feeding these days. Uh, it takes a little little more here, all right? Uh, so the people that like the fasting, yeah, but it's partner a little slower and, 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 and fuller, okay? Uh, basics, you can have an idea about a beautiful house, but to get the brick layer there, to lay the brick and, to, you know, fix the foundation and put up the walls and on and on, takes a little bit longer. So learn to live with that. Later, this can get god awful fast, also when you get into the finer. Uh, but don't mind if it takes a bit longer and you got to hang out with it, meld with it, intake it, uh, be affected by it. Oh, very important. Uh, as we uh, go lower, uh, there will be a tendency, because we carry a lot of habits from here, a tendency of looking at. Okay. So let's say uh, I mentioned a beautiful lady uh, who was moving energies up. Uh, I was aware of her. She was beautiful. There was a nice flavor. Okay. But I'm still looking at her. Oh, yeah, I'm close enough. Right? I feel something nice. But that's not the same as uh, blending with her. F for lack of words, feeling what she's feeling. As I merge with her, who am I now? Who am I? Okay, and I can't pick that up by looking at. And be careful, because you look at and you, you feel some things, but it's not the same as merging with it. Okay. For those of you who saw the uh, octopus movie, very nice movie, very nice. Uh, I'm not putting the guy down. I'm just trying to show you the different levels. He was very friendly with the octopus. They got to a point where they were hugging each other and holding hands and stuff. And, and he had a good sense being close to it. That's nice. But there's another level past that. And another one past that. Where you blend with it. You, you totally feel, experience its sense of thing. And because those are energies mixes you up at another level you won't be bobby anymore oh, okay so again not putting the guy down i just want to show levels okay so how to make friends we as humans we do funny things we kind of ourselves we do it here about this realm nice and light quote, spiritual in the old, said spiritual. Oh, I can't go there. I'm a sinner or whatever. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. And our shyness keeps us from having an experience with that realm, those realms. Down here, it's fear. Okay. Ooh, what's that? So let's stop locking ourselves in uh, if this is your universe that's yours okay oh but i'm not this and i'm not that and i gotta burn incense first before i can come on people come on you want to burn incense burn incense but oh if i don't burn incense i can't get into this sweet jesus i'm sorry but dear god let's not be dumb this is yours, okay? Right? Uh, so I, I, I'm, I'm not being disrespectful. 
fuck, I don't like this. Ooh, it scares me. It's like, hey, it's your world. Open up. Let it talk. Okay. So as we settle, get a little more comfortable, uh, you talk to it. All right. Uh, settle and open. Sense of opening a bit. Needs a little room to move through and to mix you up as a better character. Okay. If you can't tell what it is you're feeling, talk to it. Say, okay, I felt something. I thought maybe it was warm, but I'm not sure. I settle, I open, and I play the say again game or say what game. Say what? Meaning, what did you say? I'm trying to be more here with you to hear you better. The same thing we do with a friend. Friends trying to tell you something and you say, oh, wait, wait, wait I didn't quite hear, hear that. And you sort of settle. If you notice, you're settling a bit. And if you notice, you're probably opening a bit. And you say to your friend, say that again. Tell me that story again. I'm more, I'm more prepared to hear it. Feel it. So we do it with our friends. Why not do it here? Okay. Uh, so I voice. I talk to the stuff. <laughs> right? Uh, communication wasn't created by a human being. No creation communicates with itself. So creation's intelligence. Right? Uh, and it'll show. It'll explain itself in different forms. So uh, if it presents something uh, that I don't understand, I'll settle with it, feel it, very important, feel it. And if I still don't understand, I'll open again, but I'll say, I didn't quite understand that. Could you say that again? And you settle and open so you can hear it clearer whatever those energy qualities are saying. And those energy qualities are part of the mix, which I call it uh, remix you, rebreed you. Oh, since they would have said recreate yourself. Okay. Uh, mix is a little easier word at first for me, just with the energies mix up. Boom. Okay. Uh, so making friends, making friends, talking to it. Uh, asking it to be clearer. Uh, um, if it's inundating you at an inappropriate time, which could happen, uh, you're just being bombarded, but you got something going on here. Uh, you could say, not now. I'll go home and I'll settle and open and you'll get your turn. Okay, thank you. Boom. Uh, and high percentage, it'll say, okay, and, and it'll, it'll do that. Uh, but it has also a sense of itself. So if it continues to pound on you, you're going to have to acknowledge it somehow or other. But usually you can say, not, not now. Come on back in an hour. Uh, yeah. Okay. So dialogue. To these, one way we could look at these uh, monsters, so to speak, uh, that let's say here. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's say here, uh, and you bump into a, a, a minor monster. Uh, okay, as you settle with it, you're moving into a finer dimension. Okay, and at a finer dimension, if you want, you can have the energies mix up you as a character, see what it does for you. Okay. Uh, so one way I often look at, uh, at the quote monsters, they're guardians of the gate. If I don't come to terms with, uh, let's say, the n -n 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 nervousness, then I can't move through into the next level of potential pleasantness or the finer energies that are there. Yeah. Oh, sound problem. Sound is good. Yeah. Sound is good. Sound is good here. I'm hearing you okay. Yeah. Okay. If anybody I'm has through. a sound problem, please text me using the chat. Please continue, Sensei. Thank you. Okay. 
so uh, one way I kind of look at, at, at those are like guardians of the gate. And there's some up, up uh, in the upper realm, up, up here also. Maybe another day I'll go into those. Mm. Well, we'll see. Uh, and, and so again, if you equalize yourself, see with the snakes biting, apparently in letting them bite and not panicking, I equalize with them at that level. And that enabled me to move down into a finer level where they were saying, oh, here we're smiling things. And, Ooh, whole different game. When I hung out there and just felt, I guess, the, the smiley, again, I wasn't that advanced at that time, and just felt the smiley and noticed it, was aware of it, then able to move down into a deeper dimension where it says, well, we're not snakes, we're really energies on the move. And that was very clear. Uh, okay, so, uh, so don't get stopped by any kind of guardians at the gate. Uh, uh, think of them more as when you're equal with them, when you blend with them, you can continue to move on. See, even the beautiful lady uh, who was the queen of the snake country or something, I don't know what her title was. Uh, she's a beautiful lady. Now, being more advanced, I melt and blend with her and she would be a guardian at the gate and I'd move, once I'm vibing the same level, I'd move through that guardian of the gate and be in the next level, whatever the finer is, past that beautiful lady. And I didn't do it, so I don't, I don't know what that would be to give you an example, but that's what I would do now. Uh, so, uh, guardians of the gate. We have them up here too. Uh, they tend to be nicer because it's up here in the, that lighter uh, part of creation. Uh, but they're still guardians of the gate. Uh, so I used to bump into them when I was an upper meditator and uh, uh, there'd be like uh, like two guards, Japanese for format, two of those guards you see at a Shinto shrine, right? And I stop, settle, and I have a sense of vibing at a similar rate. Easy, feel that dimensions vibe. Okay. And then felt equal to it, I could pass through into the next finer of upper. Okay. Uh, you following this? Uh, so I, another upper, back in the day, I used to do a lot of uh, sitting with a group together sitting, we would track the same ground at the same time as part of our practice. I'd also uh, do a fair amount of partner meditation where we would track together. We'd go through the same space together as partners. Uh, and we'd verbalize along the way our sense of where we were at to help us catch we we're at a similar place. Although they would use a different word for something maybe than yours, but you could catch, oh yeah, that's the same about the same level I'm at. I ran into an angel guardian, and this lady is very spiritual type, and she bowed to it, paid obeisance to it. And my feeling was she's going to stay there forever, bowing at this angel. I said, what are you doing? Vibe with it. And when you vibe with it, you're the same vibe. You pass through the angel into whatever was finer there. I guess I don't recall now, but maybe the angel was the guardian of the gate to a, a more, I can't use the word heavenly because we use it in a no sense way, an even finer level. Uh, but to just bow at it, she stopped herself. Vibe with it, be equal to it, and continue. Okay, is that, is that, maybe some questions there. Is that clear, clear enough? So same thing here. Hang out with, vibe with, try to feel the feeling of, so you can continue past it into another finer level. Yeah. At any uh, level, 
at any time you can do that. It's very important aside, we'll major in it on another day, of the energies at this level are mixing up and down and, and breeding that level of you. Okay, so that's where the Bobby Robert Nato kind of thing came from. It'll mix up a better level of you. Okay. It's your, and that's what that stuff is there for. Uh, so it's a good way of looking at it is, it's not just, uh, okay, energy is an okay, not just monsters, it's energy, but maybe we should change the words. It's just like vitamins. When you open and they mix, you, you, they're vitamins, okay? If vitamin C is there, you won't get scurvy. Okay, so what that does, they're like vitamins, they're good for you. You need them, intake them, wallow in them internally. Okay, I used to, in I get a class, I use the word uh, slurp, slurpy. So when I intake energy, slurpy, intake it, <laughs> intake it, not an idea, oh yeah, oh yeah. Not an idea. It's an internal experience, an internal sense of things. Okay? And uh, that's very important because later we have to do a little clearer presentation on you character. So we'll come back around on this uh, on a little different angle another day. But I said, are there any questions up to uh, trying to make friends here? Sensei. Uh, so, no, so uh, I need to, I need to take a question. So, oh, so everybody, we need to take a short break at Sensei's right. time. Kenny wants to take a break. Couple uh, yes. minutes? Yes. Yeah. So Couple we're going to think up some questions. Help. <laughs> okay, so the Zoom session is going to continue. They're swapping out a computer at Sensei's side. And so uh, time to chat amongst ourselves. I want to remind everybody about uh, 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 logging into Discord, if you'd like, as a little uh, offline communication uh, community. There's Linda holding up. She's already on it. Um, and uh, also about uh, Saturday, uh, Moon Sensei is going to host a, a coffee clatch, as we used to call it back in New Jersey. Um, uh, on Saturday at 4 p.m. Pacific time using this same link. Uh, all of this is trying to generate, cultivate, nurture a sense of community. Um, you know, just because we're a virtual dojo doesn't mean we can't have a dojo community. And I've been in a lot of dojos myself in life over almost 50 years. And one of the things that a dojo does is it gives it's a support group as we go down this path, as we confront our monsters and try and inhale our allies, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's easier to do a spiritual practice, a shugyo, uh, uh, a, a process of improvement together. It is possible, of course, to sit in a cave and be a hermit, um, but it's also possible to do it as a group. And that's one of the functions of a dojo. And uh, uh, so we can't meet face to face. So we're trying Zoom, obviously, and we're trying now Discord and uh, we have email and uh, there's an open chat. Uh, so uh, if anybody's got any other good ideas, uh, send them to me or to Richard Moon or Ken Cron or Amy Shipley. Uh, and uh, we'll... Uh, try and do that. You can use Discord to send us those notes. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what's called in the broadcast, I'm, I'm stretching. I'm stretching. The, my I'll, I'll add something for you. Um, back to your comment uh, about having people and having connection. Uh, one of the other stories is in Buddhism, they talk about the three jewels of Buddhism, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. The Buddha, of course, is the potential of awakening. And the Dharma is the path 
that one takes to awaken. And the Sangha is the community of support that um, reinforces that path. And, uh, it, you know, it's considered one of the jewels of the process. And I think, especially in this time where we're having so much less connection, I, I, I was jokingly talking with Bob today and I was saying, well, part of the feeling when I had, well, let's, let's just open up a channel for us to talk tomorrow was, you know, even if you don't have anything to say, it might just be nice to hear two people talk to each other that you know. Thank you, Richard. Um, and uh, uh, there's a lot of people on this uh, call every week, uh, 30, 40, 50 people, and uh, everyone is uh, welcome. Uh, as we've said many times, if you know of anybody that you'd like to add to uh, the distribution list, invite them to join uh, these weekly classes, let us know. Uh, I've also uh, uh, would like to uh, uh, commend you to the note I just sent out on the Zoom chat indicating how you can make a donation. And uh, this goes uh, to Nado Sensei and Katya uh, to help them uh, uh, support this effort. Uh, everything's voluntary and many people have donated already and it's appreciated uh, every time. And uh, we're trying to sustain the, the Nado Sensei's teaching uh capabilities and uh you know so that we can uh receive it may i engage with may him I, may i add just one more note there just i'm not sure that everyone's aware but we're i i think everyone's aware that we're in the quandary of what is going to happen now but in that with that in mind um bob is of course dealing with the question of how long to keep paying rent on the dojo and storing the mats and all that. So um, that's what you've been helping do. And that's why the donations are so very much appreciated. Thank you so much for everyone who's helped. All right. Um, I think we uh, are almost ready. Um, looking for a sign from Ken and uh, We do see uh, one of Sensei's cameras up. Anybody else have some something good jokes? <clears throat> do Aikidoka walk into a dojo? No. I do want to say that when I went to Japan, uh, Osensei had already passed. I, fr I first uh, landed in Japan in 1973 in the summer. And I uh, just want to say that um, I was able to find people for whom Osensei was uh, uh, completely still alive in them. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna and uh, uh, it's one of the things I treasure of Nado Sensei is that for him, Osensei is still uh, completely alive to him. And we can, uh, those of us who never got a chance to meet O-sensei, we can sort of get a glimpse and uh, get a taste of what it must have been like. Uh, uh, because uh, by all reports, it was extraordinary. And, uh, oh, Amy is writing to remind us that there are two channels on Discord. One is for off-topic talks like how do I do this or I'm having technical problems and the other channel we've set up for discussion about these classes we'd be really we really want people to feel like they can talk about their experiences either doing this practice or what their impressions were or questions about the what they heard from Nado Sensei and Nado Sensei would like to uh was it, it would like to know that people are not just tuning in like a regularly scheduled television show and that this is actually a practice for them. And that means a lot of it has to be done by yourself on your own time. And so uh, uh, whether that's thinking or doing or a combination of both, uh, whatever you're going through uh, uh, the, uh, that's related to these classes or to the topics and processes that 
Nado Sensei is uh, introducing to us and hitting now. Many of us have been with him for many years. Lauren, we're back. Okay, we're back. There we go. A spotlight for everyone. Thank you, Sensei. I've been uh, 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 tap dancing while you've been away. <laughs> Great. So, Sorry about that you. technical difficulty there. Thank uh, you, everyone. We're back. But you had time to come up with a few questions. Well, I just wanted to highlight as we moved on here that I thought what was very important at those moments is what you were talking about. It's a little slower right then. So don't be impatient as you start to drop into a finer dimension. That seemed really important to me. Yeah, at first, take it easy. Later, it will get faster, but don't worry about that. You try to go faster, you'll probably jump into an idea of it, and you won't actually oh, be experiencing letting it mix the mix character very important okay uh questions are you out there Did I lose them? sensei oh. yeah hey so let's say you're um let's say you meet one guardian at one level and let's say you go to the next one does the previous can can a previous guardian come along with you in your journey? Uh, I don't do it that way. Yeah. Okay. I mean, does he? I, I don't know. I pass through, I experience them. So that experience is there, but I don't carry him. I don't, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't use those kind of words. Or I guess. What do you want to carry him for? We're moving into the next level of whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, within sense. myself, I carry the experience of going through that level to a finer level, uh, but I don't have to overtly carry anything. It's it's here. Do they make an appearance? I suppose. Uh, if it were to make another uh, appearance, why? Uh, my guess might be you jumped through its first appearance too fast, and it said, "Hey." You really didn't blend with me. You jumped through me, man, or something like that. I, I would shock me to be the second same thing going another level that the same thing is there. That that would like, I, I would think I haven't done it quite full enough or right enough. So that that's never happened to me. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with this. That makes sense. Okay. Somebody. Something. Nothing. Hi, Sensei. This is this is Justin in Miami. Yeah. I wanted to uh, touch on something that I was thinking last week, and I've been observing around the the center where I'm working with with clients. Is that we I frequently encourage myself to practice, but encourage the clients whether they're working on panic and anxiety or dealing with chronic pain or whatever the issues are, to start every day before getting out of bed with a basic settling and opening, maybe a one, two, three, maybe with a, the standing practice to check it out and then go into their day just to set the stage with a, a that, but to refresh periodically through the day with a quick minute of settling and opening or a breath okay. or whatever yeah. to not wait until the pressure shows up, just kind of be recalibrating along the way as a preventative. Step ahead of it. Yeah, yeah. Like, why wait until it's you get that thing. phone call? Just be open from the get-go, and it's not likely you'll be surprised by things yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, see, oh, Sensei did it in a grand manner. Uh, he he called it his prayer time. Now, careful. He didn't mean that upper prayer to something time. He didn't mean it that way. His was this lower experiential prayer. He was setting up. Uh, all the proper pieces lined up, proper manner, so that if anything happened during the day, click, he was there because he had sort of set it up. That was his morning time, prayer time. It wasn't what we consider prayer mm -hmm. in our Western sense. He was doing uh, what we're talking about, <laughs> mm -hmm. his prayer time. 
Yes. Uh, so we've always known that, uh, that uh, uh, to step out on your back porch and just practice, just saying, hi, talking to the under, hi, what's good for me today? Which is different some days. Well, I need this and I need that. But some days just be open for, hey, you're part of my system here. You know what I need. What do I need today? Or what do I need right now? Or what do I need today? Or what do I need for this particular situation? Uh, so, uh, and then to be open for it's, it's going to react back. Da, 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 D, D, D. It's going to react back. And I trust the intelligence of it. So if I say, what do I need today? I trust that the qualities, the energies, eventually qualities going on are proper for the day. I, I begin to trust it. Mm -hmm. and after a while, you do get feedback. Something happens during the day where you say, oh, God, I, I was set up for that. I'm, I'm cool here. It didn't catch you by surprise or you were the proper character for that situation. That'll happen now and then to let you know you're on track. One, one of the beautiful things, many beautiful things about is that you don't have to know you're sensing, feeling, and you're, there's information gathering that you don't you don't have to know it no. if you're oh, settled okay. open the system yeah, sense yeah, yeah, yeah. who wants to go. know remember this guy here remember the first brain second brain third brain guy i got to know so i can do it down here it's different it has knowledge itself but the, i got to know how to do this i got to work this i got to decide i got no 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 Easy the eye. That's easy the eye. Hush. Calm down. Settle down. Open. That's all an eye stuff. Different words, but it's all referring to easy the eye. Oh, sensei's me sogi. Okay. Don't say here and try to clean up your dirty self. Settle and open. You'll get to a finer self. Settle and open. You get to a finer self. Uh, so that's the same trajectory. Uh, so, yeah, whatever we said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think there was something. Uh, oh, I wanted to mention uh, uh, I was invited to teach a kid's class, which is not my field. Uh, I have taught a kid's class, you know, like 50 years or more before this. Uh, but I was up at Denise's dojo. And uh, she asked me to teach the kids class. So what I did was I had them all settle down a bit, settle, brown, just basic settling stuff. And then I introduced to them that they have allies, any kind of animal, bird, what, whatever, with the sense that they're going to show from this direction. That's why we were settling down, get a bit of brown. And you have an ally. Okay, and let them play with that for a moment. And I remember uh, one uh, kid, and after a while, I, uh, he was looking kind of pretty good. He was looking kind of happy about something. I said, who's your ally? And he said, it's a whale. And I said, cool. What does the whale do for you? And he says, well, he's, he's big and strong, and he can move. Under, he can move. And the kid started to move around the mat. He was moving pretty nice. Uh, I thought, I was just really great because uh, and apparently all the kids were happily affected by calling up their ally and letting their ally ally. Okay. Uh, and it was a great class for a one hour class. Uh, uh, so, um, so those are things that those of you who are in the business of doing this kind of work with children, that's a fantastic game because what you're calling up, you're facilitating because it's energy allies. And if they properly intake, mix that, what's it do for you or uh, uh, whatever words you would use for different age groups. Uh, intake, inner, inner work with that. Uh, you're facilitating them growing properly. Uh, all the energies that they need to grow not just physically, uh, that'll naturally happen anyway, right? They eat enough food, they'll grow. 
uh, but to grow uh, uh, with more more character, uh, the bigger sense of growth. Okay, growing into a truer adult eventually. Truer adult. Um, there's a lot with the, that little game that I mentioned with children, and shouldn't be just be a once and then never again. Uh, properly, that should be something uh, we're playing around with the kids every week. Finding that to make to give them access to the energies that are related to them, and to allow those energies to facilitate their character growing. Okay. Uh, so basics, there will be, we have more than one main quality. So as you settle down and you, uh, allow a, a monster and you go through it, next level, next level energies. Yes. They're also a quality and each one will have a, a main quality sense. Uh, we have more than one quality that make us up. I generally use the sense of four. Uh, we touched on this before. I had you call up a quality that you really liked. When that quality was there, you in, invariably felt good and just, wow, I love that quality uh, to introduce you to that. We'll come back around on that again. And, and then to, again, try to pick up a couple of the others. First one, usually really easy because it's your main one that you like, the other one not quite as known, but not too hard to call up and to open to. And then the third one starts to get a little more mysterious. Fourth one might be really vague at first because it's one you haven't really opened to. Maybe you thought it was a monster and you kept a lid down on it. Okay. But once you open and invite these, they'll show gangbusters. Okay. Uh, and remember, if they show too strong, remember the trick from last week. I, I step into a spot where I call them up. And if it's too much, I back out of the spot and say, give me a moment. And I double check that I'm settling better, opening better because it really was wrong. And then I step back in being more settled and more open and say, okay, here I am. Talk to me. Okay. So anyway, it's a great, great children's game. Uh, go ahead, questions. We're starting to eat up our time. Anything? Nothing, nada, idea? Let's say there's a question going by on, uh, on another channel here about how the difference between children and adults and whether children see allies more easily or monsters and how that might differ for adults. Do you have, do you have any adults experience with that? Adults are too smart. I say, play the game. What's your sense of anything? Play the game. And they don't play the game. Kids tend to play the game better. Wait a few more years. They'll stop playing the game too. <laughs> I would like to have more of that kid expressed in my, in my day. And I don't see any reason why I wouldn't want to play that same kid's game. Yeah. No, really. I was going to mention that before. But yeah, adults can play this game. It okay. sounds fun. Uh, I mean, come Good. on. This is not new. American Indians. Didn't they have, I don't remember the words, but didn't they have their own totem, whatever. I don't remember the word, but didn't they go out on a trek? To a quest. Yeah, they a had quest. their own spirit animal. They were, they were buddy with wolves. They might even change their name because of, of, of that. This is not new, people. Okay. Just a matter of playing in it and getting, uh, renewing the old. Okay. I'm not teaching anything new. Just clarifying the old. Christ said it, didn't he? I think he said, uh, uh, I think something to the effect that I'm not here to present something you. I just want to clean up the old because you guys have screwed it up no end. Yeah, the Sermon on the Mound. Since uh, the Sermon on the Mound, Sermon on the Mound. That's okay, the absolute truth. Okay. okay. 
Uh, my hearing is a little off here. Any other questions for Sensei? Huh? Yeah, I'm just not getting any questions. Are we finishing? No questions. Um, well, yes, I have a question. It's 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 really I want to ask you because you've been on this path on this dough of Aikido, you know, and you actually trained with our sensei, and you've been keeping at this. And my question to you is like, it's what's your motivation for keep on going? I'm a bit driven. Okay. Uh, if I don't do this work, I'll probably fall over dead. I would have fallen over dead earlier if I didn't. Uh, I have an inner nag, a self, self can nag I. And I have a bit of a, a nag. Uh, and uh, if I don't settle and open to it, uh, I'm not comfortable. Okay. Um, I tried to work in a factory. I think I might just, I tried to work in a factory. I'm young, I'm making some money, hey, hey. Uh, but I overstayed it. Uh, How did I know? Uh, I was getting dizzy where uh, my heart was starting to palpitate. Uh, I'm an athlete, what the hell is this? You know, it's weird little stuff. So I went to a doctor and uh, he did all the tests, fine. And he's a sharp doctor. He said, tell me, are you okay with your girlfriend? Oh yeah, no, no, no problem there. Where do you work? And I mentioned, ah, at a factory. And he went, bing. And he said, get out of there, go do something else. And that's when I quit the factory. And I went to JC for a short period of time just to clear out. Okay. Because I was pressured. Bobby, you're not a factory worker. Myself said to I. Get out of there. That's not you. Okay. And then I went into something else. And at which time I was still under a little pressure when I was going to JC. Uh, that's when I had to start to meditate. The push was getting too strong. I, I, I don't know how I knew I had to meditate, but I knew I wanted to meditate uh, to, to get more in accordance with things. So I don't have a choice here. I, I, I have to do this work. Okay. Oh, Sensei was driven. Uh, he told me people don't know how driven he, he was. Uh, uh, some of us are just nudged a bit. Fine, start with whatever. Uh, some of you will do this work a little bit, and that's it. I call it level of comfortableness. Fine, if you're comfortable, fine. But if you're continuing to be nudged in any form, nudged, your system is saying, come on, let's pick up the pace. Okay. Uh, and that'll vary. Okay. In the human condition, that'll vary everywhere from the heavies who. You hit them over the head with a club, they won't hardly notice it. There's some thick a certain way. Others are something, there's something, there's something. Uh, so you're all going to be different there. I'm driven. That's all I can tell you. I don't have any choice. Okay. Thank you. But I like that I've been driven. Give or take a few moments with some crazy shit. But <laughs> I, I like, I, I, I love this shit. This is fantastic. Okay. Yeah, uh, and I, I and I'm really glad I had a chance to experience okay. this for a couple of. Somebody. So, ciao. Why is my hearing going up? Uh, anyone have any last questions? Uh, there we are. Not necessary, but if you do, now's the time to speak up, please. Yeah. We run past our time. Uh, dusty something like it's, it's fine either way but we can certainly pick it up next week if you'd like that's okay dusty yeah i have a question thank you sensei very cool stuff tonight noah sensei has been teaching we've been working on this mirroring process so uh, like process mirroring process M mirroring yeah the mirroring so i'm guess i'm wondering about the mirroring with the the underworld either monsters or allies and 
doing that practice with them. I, I'm not sure how Bob is laying out Mary. Uh, I, I'm not sure what he's laying out, but anyway, one, one thing is uh, present a clear situation as best as you can clear. Make sure you're settled, line up, so that the, uh, the uh, partner force, remember it's a partner force, uh, so the partner force can come through clearly and to the point. You, for example, you can't sit and say, okay, uh, hey, hey, underworld, I need some help. I would like to be maybe a golfer. No, I'm going to be a lover. No, I'm going to be a fast car driver. No, I want to be, you're dead in the water. I mean, you're so confused. It doesn't know what to do. Okay, so settle and be clear. Uh, I think I mentioned to uh, uh, San Diego uh, with the uh, tight space, claustrophobic. Uh, okay, I I'm feeling claustrophobic, okay. Maybe a little bit of what don't I like about claustrophobic, maybe for a couple moments. Just a, and then go, hey, but you're feeding it, you're feeding it down to its partner and its partner will begin to respond, okay? And because you were by that energy pushed into claustrophobic, you're asking to go finer, deeper. So the true nature of that that pushed or caused claustrophobic can show. Is that did I say that clear? It's very basic, important. Okay. Yeah. Well, when we I get pushed into hang, hang on, we get pushed into something, and then we study the something. Did I tell you that with the doorbell? I call a push or a na -na 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 -na, a doorbell. And I make a joke. Some people stop and take the doorbell apart and look at the bell and the wiring. Like, sweet Jesus, somebody's at the door. What are you doing? Okay. So that's the human tendency to uh, take it apart. And you go on and more on and more on. And like, whoa, stop. What's bugging you? Be as clear as you can, even though some things that are bugging you aren't clear. Just be clear about your unclarity about what's bugging you. And then and, and settle and open and say, hey. And you'll start to feel the truer. Okay. You may have to go down through a few levels. Be patient. But it will happen because that is law. It is all energies are finer. I don't care how bitchy they are here. They are finer at lower levels. They are beautiful qualities. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. Okay. Uh, but you got to get through that first name, 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 name part of it. No big deal. I'm sorry it shows that way. Uh, I'd like to explain it a little bit better, but not now. Uh, but deal with it. <laughs> deal with it. Settle. Breathe. I taught you one important trick. Use the calmness. That'll bring you to a, a low, lower level at which time you sort of wake up. Ah, wait, boom. And you open up and you're at a different level. And so you've gone past the monsters. In the old days, to try to describe that, I used to call that a going doggo. You know the phrase doggo? It's an old American word, doggo. Uh, you, you, you. Go to ground and hide out. Okay. And I kind of like the word go doggo. And I would explain it to my people like uh, uh, you're in floodwaters and there's dead cows floating by in barns and got dead bodies and whatever, debris. And you don't have to deal with it. You go doggo to get a bit deeper. And deeper, they're not barns and dead cows, it's a finer level of energy. I'm sorry they appear at a certain level like barns and dead cows, but so be it. You now know the trick. Settle with it. Hang out. Don't be scared by whatever it shows. Okay? It's an ally. Settle with it. Open to it. Feel what it's feeling. Talk to it. It'll clearly talk back in some form. If you don't understand something, say, Please show me another form, okay? Or say it another way or something, and it'll do that. It's intelligence we're talking about here. 
Okay, make friends somehow. <laughs> I don't know, start simple. Stand there and settle and open up on your back porch one morning and go, hey, I'm here, you're, I know you're there. Give me something. Boom, and just play the game. They're, it's giving you something. <laughs> and then after a while, you begin to feel what the something is. You can sense, feel it. Gee, I, I feel lighter. I feel like I can move better. Okay, fine. Hey, give me a little bit more of that. A little clearer, please. Ooh. And it'll be clearer on what the lighter really means and what the moving better really means. You're getting into finer and finer. That's all you have to do. Hey, <laughs> you don't need any incense here, people. <laughs> okay, you don't got to purify your soul before you do this. This is your space. This is your universe. It's there for you. That's its only purpose is for you to partake of it, get balanced in it, so we can head towards, for lack of words, home. Okay. Um, what Old Sente called heavenlies eventually. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, make friends. That's all I was trying to say tonight. Make friends. Um, learn a little tricks. Hang out. You'll pick up You'll naturally the tricks. I tried to tell you some, but you have to hang out and blend. Ah, with them. That's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, well, Sensei was trying to point that out, but he said he, he wasn't very good at discoursing some of that. He said, I tried to show it through my movements and hoping they could see. He was operating from much finer and hoping they could see where I was coming from, what I was doing. Uh, I won't add to negative comment after that, but, uh, uh, or it's what he was, uh, it's no big deal. You're sitting on your legs, letting you move around a bit. And we talk about, okay, stuff, but also kind of dumb stuff. It, it strengthens your thigh muscles. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. But come on, next level, next level. So uh, he was okay with folks doing that because it pointed out a direction uh, unfortunately, not many people went deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper with that. They got pretty good at Swariwaza. <laughs> okay. They could be the best Swariwaza in the dojo. Yes, and there's more, and there's more. Don't stop there. Uh, it's okay, but don't stop there. Then in a certain way, it's not okay. That's how I talk. Because I, I always like to point at next more okay uh, those of you who know me know i kind of do that you say wow i i've attained this I, I i can do this and instead of saying wow great for you i say next <laughs> sorry that's me <laughs> are you aware of that bob <laughs> you can't get it that's it, i am and and sensei i think that's just about where we're going yeah. to leave it tonight. I'm losing you. Whoa. My ear's not working. <laughs> Hang on, we'll finish up. Thank you, Sensei. We love okay. you. Forever. So, sensei, okay, I think that care. we're, uh, we've, we've just lost your camera. Uh, oh, you don't have to see me. I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh, thank I was you, just, Sensei. I was saying thank you, Sensei, that we're going to... Uh, uh, call it uh, the end of the class. Everything's collapsing around us. Thank you, Sensei, for a wonderful class. And uh, everybody, thank you so much for participating. We'll see you next week. Same time, same Zoom link. See you on Discord. See you tomorrow, 4 p.m. Saturday Pacific time for an open discussion that uh, uh, Richard Moon will uh, kick off at four o'clock on Zoom for anyone who wants to participate. Thank you all very much. We're we're done for tonight. Thanks, Have Lauren. A, thank you. Uh, hey. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. So long. Goodbye. Good night.